Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. That wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I'd better do some actual cleaning, too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. to the last panel. I hope Dr. Kloenstein's okay. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Oh, this was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> All right. Back to the junk mines. At least we got to go to one concert together before I left. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever. And I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. <laughs> oh, 
intense BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. I can see why Chloe has such a hard time cleaning out her room. Oof. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in P.E. though. Ever since I started taking photos, Chloe's hung them in her room. It's like my own private gallery. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town, all in the past now. Or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's always starting things, pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. I guess Chloe wants to keep the magic alive. That was awesome. Who else but Chloe could turn cleaning her room into a pyrotechnical adventure? Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. Hey. What's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it, 
Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're fine. <sighs> Chloe seems upset about something, but I don't want to pry. Maybe I'll get it out of her later. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. You better not be thinking what I think you are. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <sighs> Sorry, chum. That's better. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. No messing with Mr. Sharky. Chloe's been beating me for a while. That growth spurt could come any day now. We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? The serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie? You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. I can't believe Chloe wants to part with this. Seems so unlike her. Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? <laughs> that was pretty funny. When we were ten. Don't you think it's time to let the boys go? Not yet. Boy toy stay. For now. I guess these really are pieces of our past. Then again, so is this whole room. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. 
Well, it wasn't exactly the purge Mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. The possibilities are endless. Got anything in mind? Actually, you bet your ass I do. I found this when I was digging around before you got here. You're gonna flip! Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future wayfarer! Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia! <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long <laughs> Silver! <laughs> you were such so, You're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek, the fine eye spot too. Yeah, pirate wenches. <laughs> what a Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full of... <laughs> Treasures. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And... Uh, why? <laughs> Dude, that was... Amazing. I can't believe you still have that. Uh, I would never throw away something so precious. <laughs> okay, okay, forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook! This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. 
Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? All right. Time to find this map. Chloe's so determined to find the map. I love how when she puts her mind to something, she just doesn't give up. Any luck? <sighs> nope. You? Nothing yet. Hmm. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Choose what happens. Wonder if I could still get to the end. Take that, Rat King. The Rat King was no match for us. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. Not sure I learned much about the stars and stripes.
Bingo. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, AKA the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Was? <laughs> Your attic is still terrifying. <laughs> it's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! Chloe seems so into this. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago, but Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. I don't think I could ever handle a real life murder investigation. makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. It's so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. Chloe's parents are so cute. Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. Is that an email from the principal at Blackwell? Chloe did act a little strange when I asked her about school earlier. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her.
Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well, I used to. Things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. The entrance to the dark cavern is in there. Bluebeard's chosen hiding place for the mysterious amulet. Just need a few more inches. Not bad for an improvised stepladder, but it's still not tall enough. If I stack a bunch of books on the stool, I could probably reach the attic. stable enough. <laughs> Besides, what's adventure without a little risk? 